So as you know, uh, Boot Camp, Data Core, and Gasworks, when you install Opposing Force, uh, those maps were taken from Half-Life, put into Opposing Force here with, like, you know, new weapon layouts and stuff to, you know, take advantage of the Opposing Force stuff. And everyone who ever has installed this game has those maps. Um, but did you know that Crossfire, Frenzy, Undertow, Bounce, and Subtransit all got that treatment too? Except you had to download this separately because they got released for Christmas 99. Um, which is really weird because this game came out of Opposing Force November 23rd. So literally less than a month they decided to put these month maps out. Which almost makes me wonder why you just didn't finish them up sooner and put them in the actual game. I mean, maybe you ran out of time or something, Gearbox. But maybe it's just Randy Pitchford, like, you know, his greasy dick just being weird. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So here's probably a set of maps that... I was about to say no one ever played, because, or at least in the modern age, because these never come with the Steam version of the game. I distinctly remember playing Crossfire here, though, the opposing force version of Crossfire. I have a distinct memory of using the sniper rifle in the little bunker with the laser. So at least this one is out in the wild somewhere. Even downloading these is stupid. I'll have the download link. I can only find, like, one random, like, mod DB thing for these. So, yeah, no wonder no one knows about these. So, yeah, Crossfire and Opposing Force. You like Crossfire, as is every person on this planet? Well, you're probably going to like it here, too. So, yeah, here you go. It's Crossfire and Opposing Force with Opposing Force stuff. So, yeah, if you start on this building, grab the spores and the uh, sniper rifle. Because, you know, the sniper rifle is going to be a little bit dangerous here, as I missed that shot that I should have hit. I had a fucking 100% probability of hitting that guy, and I still missed him. Never mind. So, yeah. I'm not going to go over the exact specifics of the map, but today, since I'm basically going through and showing you where all the items and stuff are now anyway in this version, I am going to basically go through the map again. I know, it's weird. Um, I have no idea who did the conversions for these maps. I don't think it was Dario Casali. It was probably who was ever, like, the map designers at Gearbox who did, like, the Boot Camp, Data Core, and Gas War conversions. Probably did these ones, too. So, yeah, there you go. Get the grab the items, grab the shock roach, which again is absolutely 100% useless because there's no water in this map, so it's a front to god. Um, let's go this way real quick. Uh, there's nothing down this way, I forgot, so we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll we'll kind of go around. Uh, as you can see, the rocket launcher is not there anymore. Instead, it's the machine gun, which I mean is going to be really deadly in this little unkind space anyway. Um, I, I feel it makes the center area a little less busy and like a prone to immediate death because there isn't a bunch of rocket launcher splash damage everywhere. Grab that magnum there, which is cool. Um, I can't do direct comparisons between what weapons are where in the original version because my memory's not that good. Elevators work as they should. That goes without saying. Uh, you got the uh, barnacle here. Uh, they did add a few in, in a few spots where you can like grapple around and stuff, obviously. I don't really need to point that out. Grab the snarks. Grab the SMG. That's good stuff there. Let's go down here first. You grab the wrench, which you know. Is the wrench really going to be that useful in such a crazy map? With probably 32 people running around it. I got 8 people, sure, but that's me being a fucking weirdo. There's gonna be like 20,000 people on this map. Grab the rocket launcher here, which is now not out there. Grab the shotgun, too, because that's always a good time. Come up this way real quick. Uh, there's gonna be some batteries. You know, grab the gauze. Good time, fun, guaranteed for all. Uh, you can come up here and get the crossbow, which is still here. Which, you know, is probably gonna be equally as dangerous as the uh, sniper rifle still. Because, you know, um, in multiplayer... This weapon was always dangerous. Because, you know, it's it's just like the sniper. It's instant. I don't know why the hell I'm pointing this out. So, anyway, let's go ahead this way. Um, there's some nice stuff over here, I'm guessing. As in, you can jump over here. Get healed up if you need to grab those batteries. And you can go out to the uh, open field area, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, obviously, you want to come down here. Now, I haven't actually checked it yet. Um, I'm going to check to see if the uh, secret room that is still different at all. We'll find out. As you can see here, the uh, long jump is not in this building anymore. So that's weird. Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Probably a bad thing. Um, so yeah, let's go here real quick. I, I do believe it's in this map somewhere still. I can't remember. So yeah, you could be latching on. Now, the thing I noticed with all these like uh, po uh, base Half-Life to opposing force conversions that they add in a few of these like uh, spore launchers that have like a space for the uh, fucking uh, barnacle here, but they never really go more than that. It's kind of underused. Like, it's a nice weapon to have, sure. But, you know, you probably could have done it even more. Even put in some, like, you know, Race X growth or whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, grab the knife there. I don't know why the hell it's there. But, you know, we got to have every opposing force weapon, I suppose. I mean, it's not like it's useless. It's just underwhelming. I'd rather use the wrench anyway, like a real man. So, yeah, let's go to this building real quick. In fact, actually, no, let's do this first. Before I forget. Come here to get another machine gun, which is fun. Everyone likes machine guns. There's the long jump. 
Which, you know, to be fair, I think it makes a little bit more sense for it to be here. Because you're trying to race over probably to the, um... Uh, building as the alarm's going off and the nuclear strike's about to happen. Because that's still a thing. I won't show it off because it's exactly the fucking same. But it is there. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, you just... There's nothing new here. Ladders are still here. Uh, there's not much to say here, although they did add in a Desert Eagle, which is, you know, gonna be useful. I tend to notice a lot of these, um... Opposing for I mean, base half-life to opposing force conversions have of uh, the uh, revolver around you. I mean, the Desert Eagle around easily. By the way, grab the uh, spore there. Or, I mean, the barnacle. Grab another rocket launcher. Uh, I tend to feel that because it's kind of uniform with how, like, the Desert Eagle is added in. I think it was probably all the same people or person doing these, um, these conversions here. Because um, they all came out one after another. Crossfire came out on de December 6th. And then it was like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th, they all came out one after another. Which, you know, I guess that's cute. Like, you know, they just release them all at once, but, you know. You know, you put Crossfire first, there's no way to go but down, at least in terms of, you know, player count and, like, you know, popularity. Uh, they did add in Spore Grabbers up here, or Spore, like, you know, balls up here. So you can get up there easier, and these still work as you expect, as you can see. So, yeah, it's basically unchanged. Uh, I don't think, I still don't believe you can get up there. Let me just give it a shot. And maybe give more of a shot. Yeah, no, that's still inaccessible. You know, your uh, health kits are still here. Uh, some of the weapons change up, of course. Get the crossbow here. Get some spores here, but you can't grapple through that. And like I said, this is where I had a distinct memory. Uh, playing this on a, a server one day, and we were, they are were playing this map. I thought at the time it was a fan-made version, but no, apparently I was playing an official map, but I didn't even realize it. Um, so yeah, you still got the shotgun here. You got a greater variety of ammo here. Um, actually, I might be wrong. I swear there's machine gun ammo here, but I think it's the exact same shit. Yeah, there's the station still ready. Get your displacer here, so it's gonna make, uh, it sticking around here even better. Um, I almost wonder if you could warp into here using the secondary function. Like, after the alarm's already standing, but they, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, now that instead of another shotgun, it's another Desert Eagle. And yeah, here's some more ammo. Yeah, like I said, this is basically Crossfire. All these conversions are exactly what you think they are. They're the original default... Half-Life map just brought into Opposing Force, which I don't know why. If you made the effort to eventually do eight of them anyway, why the fuck not do all the other ones too? Because not all of them made the cunt. Or cunt, I'm sorry. Wow, foul language. Cut. Lambda Bunker's not here. Um, you know, so like Stockyard's not here, and that's a real damn shame because that map's incredible. And like, you know, you might excuse like... No, you can't excuse any of them because even like Zen DM and like, you know, Rust Mill and like, you know, The Hill were all out by this point. Like, they, they were all out, like, you know, months before, like, the opposing force one. So I have no idea what the plan was here. Anyway, yeah, maybe we should just play the damn thing. Alright, let's check this out real quick. So, yeah. Uh, the, I have seen the skybox glitch out, uh, before. Even just in multiplayer, I was playing, I don't know what. Was it Undertow? The Undertow conversion? That's a night sky, and it was a night sky here, but yeah. Um, I am curious. Are the soldiers still here? Remember? You like to test out the launch. I don't think I see them. I mean, it w it'd be weird, because, you know, if they're working with the original map file... Hi. Nope! What part of the armed forces are you with? That one. Um, yeah, so those are still here. So, yeah, this is obviously just the... This, in fact, is the original map. They used the original map file and brought it into opposing force, of course. So, the moment of truth. So far, um... Not, they didn't change it at all. I feel the medkits are actually glitched out a little bit. That's a shame. Actually, I, were the uh, ammo like that too? Who the hell cares? Yeah, but it's just baffling. You know, the, the release of this game on Steam is interesting too. Because remember when I brought up there was Capture the Flag maps and stuff? Well, uh, if I recall, when this was first released onto... Um, the Capture the Flag mode was first released on the, like, the WON1 version of the game. Um, that was like considered a separate like, kind of mod. Like you had to have opposing force as far as I'm aware. But, um, like, you would go into the mod list, and it, would, it was considered separate from, the, like, the normal deathmatch and stuff. When they brought this game onto, uh, Steam initially, uh, from what I understand, the, uh, Capture the Flag mode wasn't there at all. Um, they added it in after, so that's why the, uh, background in the menu is showing the imposing force, I mean, the Capture the Flag mode. Because that was them, like, yeah, hey, we brought it back. Are you happy? Are you happy we brought it back? Now you know. So I don't know why when they were doing that, they didn't think, hey, you know that those, like, you know, crossfire, like, you know, you know, undertow, you know, bounce conversions we did for, like, opposing force? Let's put them there, too. No, we're just not going to do that. You know, you'd think, you know, Valve would have given their blessings 
or like supervision or whatever to do these conversions anyway because they're the ones that have to hand over all the original assets and stuff like that to like you know you know gearbox and stuff in the first place so you know it really makes you wonder what the plan was Never mind, I'm a fucking tool! There's a long jump right here. I forget about this building every goddamn time. Especially considering that's the freaking building that has the, uh, secret room in it. I have no excuse. So yeah, that's, uh, Crossfire and Opposing Force. Um, it's up to you whether you want to play this in Opposing Force or Original or not. It's still great.